Okay guys, so you have an RTX 2070, normal or super, and this will also work for the 2080, non-super. And you wanna reduce the temperature, reduce the power consumption, and increase your FPS, especially the 1% lows in game, and fix stutters, freezes, etc. Or just really reduce the power consumption because electricity is too expensive. Well, this is the right tutorial, guys. Let's jump straight into it. Okay, so for this tutorial, you will need two pieces of software. One is Heaven Benchmark, one is MS Afterburner. I will link to both of them down in the description below. Now, you wanna open up Heaven Benchmark, disable the full screen option, max it out, and then have it running. At this point, you wanna also open MSI Afterburner. While you have Heaven Benchmark running, we will be operating on MSI Afterburner, okay? Now, what you wanna do in Afterburner is go on settings and enable voltage control and voltage monitoring. Hit apply, hit okay, it will restart Afterburner, and now we'll finally see our voltage right there. Now, our starting point voltage is 1031 millivolts. So what you wanna do is pull up the curve editor right there, go on core clock, hit minus 300 right there, and as you, as you can see, it will lower itself down. Now you wanna grab the 900 millivolt voltage point and bring it up all the way to around 1900 megahertz, a slightly less than 1900, 1890 is perfect. And then we wanna hit apply right there, and the curve will flatline and now it will be running at 900 millivolt, 1890 megahertz. Now, if you wanna close the tutorial, it's already finished, but if you wanna stay, a couple extra tips. Now, the power limit is determined by the product of voltage times amperage. Now, the currents, AKA the ampere, that are going th straight through your system are dependent on the load. So, since we have a constant voltage, we can assume that we're not gonna go over the power limit, but to avoid power cutoffs, we wanna just unlock all of these to the maximum and hit apply okay so do that now we can also increase our memory clock a little bit now this is not under volting this will just increase the performance it's a slight memory overclock now most 2070 super can take plus 500 but if you want to be extra safe try plus 300 right there hit apply save now you can save your profile in the profile one hit apply again after clicking it enable to start with windows go into settings Start with Windows, start to minimize, hit apply, hit OK, done. But in case you wanna stay, I will give you a couple extra tips. So if you wanna reduce the voltage even more, you can reduce the millivolt. So how you do that is you just grab a different voltage point on the graph. For example, let's say I wanna aim at 800 millivolt because I really wanna save power. I go minus 300, right there. Grab the 800 millivolt voltage point, bring it up to a lower frequency. Now you will need to test this, or you, I can give you a couple of numbers, but for example, 1800, sorry, 800, 1700, right there, hit apply, it's gonna work flat line, 800 millivolt, even less power, even less temperature, perfect. Now a couple of numbers for you guys, the best sweet spot is 900 millivolt, 1900 megahertz. If that doesn't work, 900 millivolt, 1850 megahertz. If you wanna go lower in temperature, I do recommend 800 millivolt, 1700 megahertz, you can go a bit higher, you have to test it. If you wanna go full performance, 975 millivolts and around 2000 megahertz is where most cars top out at. Memory clock wise, you can push it up to 500, unlock power limit, tap limit. This is it guys, if you liked it, please drop a like and a sub. I have more tutorials for CPUs as well. See you in the next one, bye.